Alright guys, we're back with Look Where I Look, so I'm just going to do the same thing. I know you're saying they're not, not hiding in that hard, but... Alright, I'm just going to put the little shoe right there. And I, don't, I, don't, I don't think the fact that the wagon rolls around is the worst thing. Alright, I'll put these keys here, so you can't really see them from there. And this, if you kind of put in here, I'll just do it the same as I did the last one. How about that? <laughs> How about that one? I guarantee if someone posted a video of a little Malinois puppy doing this, oh, they'd all be giving it likes. All right, let me go get him. Hi, Miriam. Oh, girl, did you go to Las Vegas yet? We, we've got to, I need to get you to help me um, get Fernando. We have to make sure Fernando gets in touch with me before he starts using that collar. All right, so I do still carry him at this age, but I am very, it's not emotional. I'm not, oh, give mommy love. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try looking this way though. He doesn't see that other one. Yay. Oh boy, okay, now I'm gonna try looking here. Yeah, yeah, maybe this should be a contest. Maybe this should be a new, you know, a new sport, but you hide various things, your keys, your phone, your shoe, your glasses, and it, you know, it, and they have, all right, so I gotta just stare here. getting stuck in the footstool, but it does show a level of... Hi, Cam. Hi, Shelly. Uh, Shelly, please. Is that the cutest thing you've ever seen? He's so good about it. He's just always looking, looking. And he'll travel, too. He'll travel with things. You know, if you're walking along and you drop your tiny tennis shoe, I think you should definitely, in the beginning, think of it. If you're going to make him travel, you're already traveling that way. And there's Molly. And if you said, well, that's a big distraction. Not really. Not anymore. Not anymore. You know, and then maybe you should always practice traveling with nothing. You know, if you said, well, he, rem he doesn't remember that he didn't have keys. He's just traveling to that location. Yeah, that's probably true. Farther and farther away. Oh, he is a clever, clever dog. Uh, you 
know, that's that's 12 weeks old, not even 12 weeks. He's 12 weeks tomorrow. That is crazy. You know, I should be like these other people. What was your puppy doing at 12 weeks old? All right, if he kind of goes off, I'm going to try to hide it again. I know my hiding places aren't that hard. But I think you need, you know, if you're a trainer, you need a Molly and a Skylar there to just act as, you know, whatever. I got another red wagon, so I'm gonna have two of them. So, oh, that's just gonna that's just gonna make the difficulty level just whoo, through the roof, too. Hi, shy, shy. Uh, Sophia and I want to get you unlimited internet for a month, so you can watch every video. Do you see how he jumped up on there, though? He's already getting air. Oh, if he takes off, I'm gonna. Whoops. Oh, he thought he heard the keys fall. No, no. Oh, he thought he, he thought it was in there. He looked. All right, hang on. So I'm just gonna sit, gonna sit a little farther, and then look over towards the wagon. Oh, and he gives it back the fastest way. He's in the time to go through the door. He's like, here, I'll hand it to you. Grab it. Grab it from here. Oh, yeah, these two are perfect. You know, they're just representing. Now he's ready to look and look. Okay, see, I'm going to have to get, you know what, I, that's what I'm going to get. Oh, I know what I can get. Uh, they have this little, um, like the little step two or the little tykes, like little kitchen for kids, like for little girls to play wife or whatever. Uh, and the boys have a barbecue one. Uh, but if I get that, then it's got little different little places you can hide stuff. I'd have to have two of them though. Oh, he's absolutely precious. And remember, I don't want to sit, so I think, I think what I would do is just turn every sit into a stand for now. And if you said, oh my God, don't do that, you'll never get your sit back. <laughs> my response would be, oh, All right, I'm going to try to put something over here. bumbling idiot can't pick up something to sit to you know two inches away from it it just stares <laughs> yeah that's what it thinks what a cute dog though am I am I wrong and it'll already travel so I'm gonna do it from a little farther away I'll be over here looking over there and you can't see it from here but I think if you said, what does that make you force? The fact that they're, the level of consciousness they have is spooky. Remember, any adjustments you make to your body should be very subtle. said, well, what does that say? It means dock, redock. <laughs> <sighs> Write that one down, Chelsea. That's what, if you said, what does this mean when your hand's going back? Redock, redock. You know, the opposite would be gimme, 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 gimme. So the opposite of gimme, gimme is I can put it in a different place that he's not used to.
I'll get them all behind here. I'll drop some treats over here behind here. They'll all get over behind. I'm going to be very subtle about it. Uh, and because I don't think you want that to be... I don't think you want them to wait. Let's just put it this way. I don't think you want them to be waiting for you to move as part of the queue. But... Uh, if you... You see how it does help it orienting your body to whichever direction. Anyway, I hope you guys like that, and I can just tell you right now, this is very, very, very exciting work. I truly believe any dog can be taught to any single, every American dog can be handing these people stuff. You know, instead of chewing up their remote and trying to get that corrected and doing, the dog can bring them the remote. He said, how do you know that? They do it to me. All right, you guys, I'll be right back. <laughs>